I am Vince Steckler, the CEO of Avast Software out of Prague. You know, people often wonder, you know, what operating system is better, what is safer, what is more secure. On the PC side, and PCs are both Macs and uh, Windows computers, uh, there is no fundamental difference. Uh, Mac is not inherently any safer as a, as a technology uh, than Windows is. What makes a difference there is what is more opportune for a bad guy to attack. If they attack Windows, then uh, with one piece of software, then they can attack 92, 93% of the world's PCs. If they attack Mac, they can only attack 7 or 8% of the world's PCs. So with Windows versus Mac, there's safety in low numbers of Mac, but there's no inherent technical uh, advantage. On the mobile side, it's still a, a little bit different in that um, iOS is fundamentally a closed ecosystem and all software, etc., comes from Apple. And a closed ecosystem is inherently safer than an open ecosystem, but of course the trade-off is uh, less flexibility. So that does make Android being uh, inherently a bit less secure uh, than Mac. Now, some of the minor platforms, such as, uh, such as Windows Phone, Windows Phone is also uh, much more of a closed ecosystem like Mac and uh, has uh, the security of that. Plus, it also has the safety in low numbers. Uh, BlackBerry uh, previously had been a very popular corporate platform because of its closed environment for messaging, et cetera. Uh, BlackBerry has lost a little of that advantage now as it does run a, a bit of an Android layer in there. But fundamentally the choice is iOS or Android. But I don't think users really make a decision on an operating system, a phone operating system based on security, what it is, convenience, user interface. And we should always remember that the largest threat out there is really the person using the device, not so much the uh, device. So you can, do, you can get in just as much trouble using an iOS as you can an Android or a Mac versus a Windows. Okay, today's biggest threat for uh, a normal consumer, uh, it's a little trite, but it's the consumer uh, themselves. We have to realize that a lot of attacks are still using uh, social engineering techniques, phishing emails, you know, ways of convincing a user to give up valuable uh, information. And the purpose of a security product like ours is to kind of protect the user against that. You know, as we look at the technology, especially as we look at going forward, uh, and everyone's heard about the Internet of Things and, you know, everything's going to be connected to our networks, and frankly, a lot of that is true. When you go into a lot of households these days, the networks are as complicated as a small business network. You've got the household computers on the network, the mobile phones when someone brings their iOS or their Android home or when they bring their company laptop home and even TVs and things further afield such as refrigerators all connect to the, um, to the home network. So we see that the central weakness uh, in this Internet of Things is going to be that home router, that home gateway, the thing that connects everything together and basically doesn't have any security on it. So what we've really tried to do in, in our latest product release is extend the security beyond the endpoint to the home network, the home gateway.